Let me think. Okay, so your question. Okay, I'm ready. What's your for serious question? What do so, I think aliens will be like? Yeah. So I think that them looking like humans is ridiculous, and I think that because humans wouldn't even be here had the asteroid not crashed into Earth, because dinosaurs would have killed us all, which just kind of proves that like life, even in the same exact um, like ratios of oxygen and all that stuff, can create completely different beings you know what i mean like dinosaurs were like so big like you know humans feel comfortable in their surroundings because everything was built to make them feel comfortable this house has doors human size and a couch human size and a bed human size and then i walk outside my door and all of the roads are human size and my car is human size and then i go to buildings that are human size but dinosaurs would squash them between their toes and earth made both of those things you know what i mean yes yeah so like you think that on a different planet, like with different, you know, like chemicals and stuff that they're going to still look like us, like the same planet didn't even create us at one point. Like we, it was going towards dinosaurs. <laughs> like we wouldn't be here. Like if it wasn't for the dinosaurs getting wiped out, we would all yeah. been eaten by a Tyrannosaurus or something. <laughs> You know? That's a good point. I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh... <laughs> I think that life would not continue on the same path, guaranteed every time. Because oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have proof of that already with the dinosaurs. Uh, I think. Oh, okay, I like to think about. Uh, okay, so so the Earth Earth is four point five billion years old. 4. Oh, I thought you were gonna old. say flat. <laughs> I think the Earth is 4.6 billion years old. It's either Earth or the universe. I think it's the Earth. And uh, life started, I want to say, 2 billion years ago? <laughs> Maybe? But the, 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 the details aren't important. Right. How many millions, hundreds of millions, billions of years ago life started? So from that moment when we had what was considered life in right. you know water, single-celled, whatever, yeah. uh, up until Plankton. now... <laughs> Plankton, yeah. I, I don't know if it was mitochondria. Plankton. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, what is it? The uh, the amount of time that like h human beings, creatures with our level of communication, have existed is like you can't even make a, a blip that small at the end. You know, in recent history, right? And like things like modern technology, it's less than a hundred years old, and so. Um, there's that huge range. So thinking about that, any other planet that could support life could have life anywhere in that range of billions of years. Right. And That's true, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, hooray, we found life. Well, what would you find? Well, you know, it's a three, three-celled organism. Okay. <laughs> They're not going to be sharing their music with us. <laughs> <or something. laughs> right, yeah. Like, I mean... You know, the biggest fear is that they're going to come eat us or take us away or whatever, you know. So who's, whose fear is that, Um Sam? My coworker, Johnny. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Like, he thinks that aliens are going to come and take him away and do experiments on him. And well, good they're all news. Gonna... I got an automatic shotgun right here. <laughs> and, you know, I just think he... that, like, and he's, he's like, he's, he's like, what would you do? What's up? You think he's serious, huh? Oh, he That's is. Amazing. He's 100% serious. I and like, you know, it's like, you know, oh, well, what do you, th what would you do? What would you do? And it's like, same thing I'd do if a nuclear bomb exploded <laughs> here. I'd die. I would die. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like. Oh, I would die. Yep. It's like if they had the kind of technology it would take to travel here. <laughs> You know, because I heard, I mean, this is like me quoting like science that I learned in the 90s might not even be true or accurate anymore. But I was told that if we traveled the speed of light, which they don't even, well, my teacher didn't even know how like our matter would stay not just completely destroyed. But if there was some way that we could travel the speed of light 
it would take 75 years or something like that to get just to the edge of our solar system. Mm -hmm. And so any crew member that was on there wouldn't make it past that. So there'd have to be children on board. But even that, the 75 years that we experienced on the ship, it would be 500 years on Earth. So by the time we reported back anything, everyone would be dead anyway. Wow. <laughs> That's a good point. So to imagine if an alien was able, because we're pretty sure that there's no life in our solar system, right? <laughs> like, Solar system. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. We're pretty well, sure. Right, like, yeah. We, we so, sent... What? What's up? You mean like life we can communicate with? Yeah, like we've sent radio s signals out, right? Nobody talks back to us. <laughs> Nobody will <laughs> like, talk back to us. You they know? Took one look at us and we're like, nope. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like nobody's nobody's trying to talk to us if there's they're living somewhere. I mean, I don't know how they'd live on a gas planet. But... Oh, you were learning about that. You just kind of <laughs> shook into it. I mean, you'd be dead long before you even reach the surface. But <laughs> right, yeah. Like I, I actually like my mom's brain like blew up when I told her that. The gas planet. Gas like, planets are so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like. So, I mean, I assume, I don't know, like, if life, if life is on a gas planet, it's got to also be a gas, I would assume. Gas life. Cause... <laughs> That's weird. Because, I mean, how, how is it, it's not standing on anything. It, it would have to just be kind of floating around. Floating mind. Whoa. Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Like, and I don't know if we'd ever know. Because, I mean, how would we ever, like, test that? Like, if we even tried to put a, like, satellite, if we tried to make it go to Saturn or whatever, it'd probably just get, like, sucked in and then just instantly, like, explode or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, and we're not... They, <laughs> if up? they try to go to our planet, they would either, whatever, dissipate in smoke or, like, solidify. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know, like... I mean, like, the only way that an alien can actually reach us would probably be, like, teleportation or something. Teleportation. And then you first have to get the teleportation pod there. <laughs> oh, oh, from device to device. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm sure they can't teleport to a place that doesn't have a teleportation <sighs> device. Then you need to teach them how to use the user manual. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, I don't know. Like, if anyone was able to get here, because, like, they're like, oh, do you think we're alone in the universe? And, like, what's scarier, if we are alone or if we're not alone? Whoa. What's scarier? Um, I asked that, uh, and you're what? Oh, no, 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 go ahead. I asked that about God. So there are religions that believe uh, God has a physical body. And so, you know, I challenged the people that taught this. So if does God, that means, that means either one of two things. As far as I can tell, it means one of two things. That means either one, you, God lives, like God's body yeah, is somewhere where you could get in a rocket ship, fly there and just say hi to him. Like he has a body, like he exists somewhere. <laughs> or two, the other option is you believe in parallel universes. Oh. So which is it? Do you believe in parallel universes? Well, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah. Because like, yeah. I, I heard a thing where they said like that parallel universes exist. I read a whole book about that. <laughs> Was it fiction though? <laughs> well, no. No? It wasn't? Cool. I mean, it, was, it wasn't good science. <laughs> <laughs> It's not true, but it wasn't a fiction but, book. But they thought it was true. They did. They, oh, okay. they wrote their truth. <laughs> I love that phrase. What a great phrase. Well, everyone's allowed to live their truth, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I feel like... Um, I feel like there are aliens out there. I feel like 
Especially, especially because they found bacteria on Mars or whatever. Like, if we found life on literally the nearest planet to us, mm -hmm. like, I feel like that kind of bodes well for life being at, you know, most of them. <laughs> or at least, at least the ones that are, like, rock planets. Right, 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 where you can, like, stand on them. Right, yeah, like, so, if that's the case, like... You know, it's just that, you know, I don't know if we'll ever communicate with them. And we can communicate at them. Yeah, yeah. Just not the same. <laughs> Did you ever see the Futurama episode where it's like, um, this this guy like he comes to um, like declare war against Earth because he was watching Allie McBeal. <gasps> Allie McBeal in the end of the season. Oh my gosh, I remember that episode. <laughs> so I'd show up and ask how Allie McBeal ended. <laughs> right, and he was watching an old episode from like the 90s. <laughs> right, yeah, it finally had reached him. <laughs> oh my Man. god, so funny. He had some clever, clever episodes. <laughs> Futurama was like I'm I'm serious. Like, if that's not the way the world is in the year three thousand, I'll be surprised. <laughs> three thousand. Oh, but that's um when they had a whole episode specifically on uh, evolution. That's a good episode. Oh, did they? Yeah, it was the um, oh Comedy Central um, season. Oh, really? Yes. I I just remember the one where um, Bender was God. Oh yeah, that's classic. <laughs> that was an earlier season. <laughs> I well, recently... Earlier seasons were my favorite. Today. Yeah, I recently watched uh, one of my very favorites, uh, "The Problem with Poplars." <laughs> Man, I love that episode. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite Futurama one? So I, okay, so. I really like the problem with poplars. I rewatched it, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and it's it's a very good episode. But like, Didn't the hold real up. reason it holds up. The real <laughs> reason I like it, I loved it, was because I wasn't really into the show, but my roommate was watching it in college one day, and I randomly joined him. And oh my gosh, I was in tears. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's your all-time favorite. Um, that might be my all-time favorite. <laughs> I love, I really did like the, uh, what did I just mention? The evolution episode was very clever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I didn't see that one. Oh, my gosh. They go back in time to meet uh, Fry's grandmother. Oh, no, no, no. That No, that's that's the one where Fry screws his own grandma. <laughs> yeah. He, he is his own grandpa. <laughs> he is his own grandpa. That explains a lot. I really like that episode. <laughs> That one was hilarious. That one was hilarious. Like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> She's not my grandma. Because <laughs> my grandpa died and I'm still here. <laughs> They're like, Fry. <laughs> He's like, You moron. <laughs> you are your own grandpa. <laughs> oh my gosh, then his scream. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, like, she was 20, and all of a sudden she's, like, 80, and she's sitting there, like, crocheting. She's like, hey, honey, can you so give me a So random. <laughs> oh, so funny. That one was hilarious. And, like, just, like, the way that, like, the whole crew, like, comes up to the window, and they see him, like, naked lying in bed with her, like, oh! <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And all also, right, like... It's, yes. Oh, I was gonna say like it's also funny how like uh the professor is actually like Fry's like like grand grand, grand child your, your, your or grandson. Yeah. <laughs> like that's hilarious too. What's but, your favorite episode? Oh, my favorite episode. <laughs> so I have a few. I have a few because some of them like seriously like make you cry, and some oh, of yeah. them like make you laugh so much, like. <laughs> I really loved the episode where um, where Leela meets uh, another Cyclops online, okay. and like she goes back to his world where Cyclops are everywhere, and he's like, "Look, this is where you were meant to be." Like, 
look, your your kind was worshipped, and look at all these statues depicting your beauty, and look at all this great stuff. And so, like, and he goes, but of all this wonderful stuff I have, I I will die the last Cyclops because no oh. one will touch my pee pee, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and like Leela feels bad, and so like she's like, oh, let's repopulate the world, you know. And then it turns out that he was a shapeshifter. Yeah. And, oh my gosh. And he had, I like, forgot the seven, conclusion. He had like seven different wives with like seven different planets, all looking like them specifically. <laughs> wow. Oh, it was crazy. That one was pretty funny. That is amazing. Also because it was like a married with children uh, <gasps> thing too. Oh my gosh. They did that? Right, because of the voice actress, right? Yeah, yeah. Because she was Peggy Bundy and um, the guy's name, they named him Al Kazar or something like that. <laughs> she was like, she's like, Al. And oh, like they, had... <laughs> and they dressed her up like that. Right, oh, no, yeah. Yeah, like Lila was all dressed up in the spandex pants and big hair. <laughs> Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and it's like, she was like, he was like all super like sweet and like, let's, let's procreate, make this world filled with Cyclops again and everything was beautiful. And then like, it cuts forward and he's like, Al Bundy, like, he's hand just in the, the pants, worst. just disheveled, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! And then like there was a a studio audience for some reason, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like it was like the rats in her wall or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. It, that one was really funny. And then I uh, there was like there's a few really great ones. Like I liked um I liked the B episode. The B episode. Yeah, where um Fry. Well, it, it actually ends up being Leela, right? No, it was Fry. Yes, I believe. Maybe. I, I think that's what happened. It's Fry, they were, they were trying to get honey from a poisonous beehive. And then, like, Fry, I believe, gets stung. Or no, it was... Was it Leela? I think, I think it was Leela. That's like the, the, the shock twist ending is that it was Leela that got stung. But it was like... um. Like, Fry dies is what is what it, like, they, they make what it you looks think, like. Yeah, they make you think he dies. Ooh. And then Leela has a bunch of dreams where Fry is back with her. And it gets really dark at one point. Like, she, like, tries to, like, end herself at one point. <laughs> like, it gets super, super dark because she can't handle the shame. She's, she's so, like, upset that she killed Fry. I can't you know? watch this episode. Yeah, I don't yeah. know that at all. Yeah, and she was having all these like dreams, and Fry was always like, it was always like super wonderful and romantic, and she's, what did she say? It was something like, oh, this is just a dream or something like that. And she goes, I've never been so romantic to myself in a dream before, <laughs> or something like that. But it's like every single dream, like it would stop when he'd be like, Leela, you have to wake up, or whatever, and then like in the end. It turned out that um, she was the one that got stung and she was in a hospital and Fry was next to her the whole time saying, Leela, you have to wake up because <gasps> she was the one that was like in a coma or whatever. And it was like, su it was like super like heart wrenching. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it was, it was like that one was super sad, but I it was like one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, it's literally called the bee. Like, if you the if you want to, yeah, it's literally called the bee. I'm pretty sure. So I yeah. remember uh, another one of my favorites is uh, it was an episode. It was a bunch of short episodes put together. It was uh, Fry asked the question, "What if uh, life was like a video game?" Because <laughs> video games are all I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I re I think I remember that one. So and, the like, aliens like, from Nintendo. <laughs> 64 come and attack or something. Yeah, and Donkey Kong's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's gosh. invaders. Possibly from space. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That one was hilarious. I love the one too where um like <laughs> there was like Bender met this crazy robot. And like he is like a reoccurring character. He met him in jail, I believe. 
<laughs> something like that. And then like this guy just like he's like, I'll cut you. <laughs> he's like, I'll cut you. <laughs> he's just, like super crazy like that. You know him, Clanks? Is that his name? There's a Clamps character. I'll clamp yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. Uh. And like. There's one scene where, like, he's like, don't come any closer, coppers. He goes, I have a hostage. And he's got um, Zoidberg with, like, a knife <laughs> to his head. And, or, you know, and Zoidberg goes, yay, I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, the funniest thing. Oh, my God. Zoidberg is just too, like, naive, I guess. He's got nice. Mm-hmm. And then the episode where like um, Zoidberg uh, was trying to find a woman and he was <laughs> rejected, right? And then like Fry told him how to lie to women to make them sleep <laughs> with you, <laughs> and he's just like, "Ask her if she ate something today." He's like, "I don't care." He's like, <laughs> "Doesn't matter, just ask." <laughs> it's like you know, he goes, "You look malnourished." <laughs> And she was like, oh, thanks for noticing. <laughs> and, like, she, like, fell in love with Zoidberg because Fry told her, told Zoidberg how to, like... Right, right. <laughs> pretend Make to care for think... women. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how, like, that leads all, that all leads back to uh, what we were talking about earlier today, huh? <laughs> right, the secret, yeah. The secret to getting women, to getting women, period. Right, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how people become psychologists. Oh, I thought you were going to say psycho like that. <laughs> Well, that too. Uh, but I think I know how that happened. <laughs> oh. Sam, what's the trick to getting... Uh... I, you know, I got opinions about that too. Yeah? Yeah. So back, <laughs> okay. back, when I was, back when I was very religious. Uh-huh. So I think... Mm, I'm, I'm happy to say I was never... Mm. I don't think I've ever been bad towards women. But I wasn't good. <laughs> so it was really interesting. So first of all, being in the high demand religion I was in made me like emotionally and mentally childish. Like uh. I just never grew up. So and I just wasn't good at interacting with the women. But the uh, the biggest problem, I think this is fascinating so um <laughs> well we're pausing for this we're pausing for this <laughs> so this is such a cool concept okay i think it's the uh so in this religion uh uh men are more important than women period. that's all religions <laughs> yeah but but here's the tricky part <laughs> okay. um it's uh when asked well how come us women can't do it can't have the same power or same responsibilities or same roles as you men can. The answer is, well, one of the answers is, well, you women are so special in the eyes of God and are so much better than men. You don't need these, uh, you don't need these things that, uh, that men need to help us grow and learn. And so it's this concept of, there's a word for it and I can never remember the word for it, but it's this concept of, of oppression keeping someone down by right. telling them they're better right yeah it's so weird yeah and yeah i'm sad that it almost made sense to me at the time <laughs> i had to say that it almost made sense to me at the time it's stupid it doesn't make any sense <laughs> um but no when i left that religion oh my gosh my i like well first of all i grew up almost immediately it was amazing it was <laughs> like almost overnight I felt like, I finally felt like an adult. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's a huge deal. And I don't know. It was probably, so leaving those religious beliefs, those teachings, uh, just getting older. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just a few things combined helped me. Oh, and realizing, I don't know. I did think of women as special. It's hard to explain. They were like this, uh, there was something special. But the reality is we're all just like water balloons. We're all just bags of meat. <laughs> we're just people we're just people right, getting by right right yeah i don't know it's it's silly it's like it's nothing nothing mind-blowing nothing that isn't obvious but uh well no maybe it is not obvious to everyone i mean if like, yeah like i mean there's people like you out there you know 
Yeah. I don't know. Like, that's what I want my kids to learn. That the, the opposite sex is just 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 people. Like, yeah. Wanting to be treated nicely and fairly. Right. No, it's just not that kind of, like... Literally, like, point, the golden rules, like... Yeah. Do unto others as you would want done unto you. Like, that's literally it. Hmm. I do not want anyone chucking uh, grenades at me. <laughs> How rude. They must not see you as special. <sighs> I'm going for it. I'm not going for it. There we go. Yeah, like, honestly, like, at my job, like, I feel like um, it's, it's so weird because I feel like no matter, like, even if I do a good job, like, uh, undeniably, like, good job, like, I feel like um, a lot of times the guys aren't willing to even acknowledge that I did anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, I yeah, I don't know if they can, like, some of them, some of, like, I swear, like, some of them that, like, people might think, oh, that guy isn't treating me well. I probably like him more because he probably treats me more like an equal. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, right. So you're saying like, um, what is it? That guy who was brought to brought to trial for being racist and he was acquitted. He was deemed not racist because he hates everyone equally. <laughs> that kind of thing, right? I don't hate women. I just hate everyone. Well, yeah, like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if someone. <laughs> well, I'm Not just like saying, that. like, if someone like thinks, oh, uh, you know, Sam, I have to, you know, go to the bathroom, take over for me. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, like, I would be like, oh, this person views me, you know, as another coworker, as another yeah. human being that is capable of doing the job, you know. But when you know, people are saying, oh, no, who's going to do this job? And I'm standing right there and a bunch of men are just all like shrugging like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like it's impossible. It's, that she, it's impossible that she can do it. You know, like she's she's done it a million and one times and we've seen it with our own eyes. But, it's you know, job, yeah. <laughs> they can't like actually let me have it because, yeah, it's, it's weird. Uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of weird but yeah like that the channel the channel that uh i was i was looking at today is just this guy and i'm not gonna shout out his channel because oh goodness i don't want to i don't want people to google him i don't want to platform him i don't want to give him any attention even though no like you know he's not gonna get a huge bump from this no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. we're just here for fun we're just here for fun but like um yeah, like, this dude definitely doesn't see women as, you know, just people. He has he has a whole thing, like, women think this, women do women that. that, men do this, you know? That's so weird. Yeah, and like, it's like, what's up? Women are kind of like men, but with longer hair and larger mammary glands. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Like, you know, I think we have more in common than like, mm. you know, not in common. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like this guy was all like, uh... <laughs> deep breath, David, deep breath. <laughs> oh, no. It, wait, is it what stage is that? Is it the bad one? No, it's not. It didn't no. have the metal man claws. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, Kirby. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. I don't think it got too much of my electronics, but if I cut out. <laughs> if I cut out. Um, if you see like a big flash of light and. <laughs> Poof. And me starting to. Everything throw, goes like, dark. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Get electrocuted to the ear. <laughs> it's because I I dropped uh, I I was you know too irresponsible for my sippy cup. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you had a sippy cup and not 
Just an open cup. Oh yeah, if I had an open cup, like you would, <laughs> you wouldn't see me. I wouldn't be here because I'd be getting a towel. <laughs> oh. But, yeah, let's just drink this. <laughs> Yeah, drink that water. But yeah, like, <laughs> it's like people are so divisive right now, where it's just like, you know, people keep talking about the gender war and stuff. At least, like, yeah. um, I'm seeing that. Like, I know, like, whenever I tell you about stuff, you're all like, where did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> but I swear, like, I see it. I see it on a lot of different, like, political, like, channels and stuff. But I believe, no, yeah. I feel like. I What's up? I know it happens. It's despite how hard it is for me to comprehend. And I think I wonder how much of it is manufactured. Right. It's so weird. Yeah. Like I remember they were saying before that there were like Russian bots that just would come and say like the meanest possible thing to get people enraged. Like <sighs> and, it <laughs> and it's like it's probably that kind of thing where it's just like you know, some Russian bot. Well, I mean, I saw the man with my two eyes. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> and it works. People, uh, people thrive on uh, divisive, right. divisive language. Yeah, that's <laughs> what that. Was, oh no, go ahead. <laughs> if you actually sit like, oh, a Democrat and a Republican down together, and like actually talk about their actual beliefs on various topics, they're gonna find a lot in common. Right. Yeah. Like. But no, we gotta hate each other. So I have a coworker. Yeah. Where like he and I definitely do not see eye to eye, and it's on gender. Honestly, uh, he said to my face that the worst thing that ever happened to this country was women's lib. <laughs> so women's lib. Yeah. So women getting the right to do what? Be I join the gentry. <laughs> Own I, land. I mean, you know, in the seventies, we got the right to have a bank account. I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. All like, right, I'll call him out. My question is, why? Right. He he thinks that that ruined everything. What, what got ruined? I but mean, you don't have to answer. I, I want to like. That's what I would be asking him. Like what? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's funny because I saw this thing where it was like. Um, so ending yourself <laughs> what? Ending your, like well i heard that like youtube like doesn't like the term suicide but i mean oh and oh i see what you mean <laughs> so this isn't monetized anyway so i mean whatever but um like uh there was chart there was a chart and it showed like the suicides like each year and stuff hmm. and there are as many suicides today of men as there were in the 50s. Okay. Like, there was dramatically less around 1999, 2000, like the early okay. 2000s. But there's just as many suicides today as in the 50s. So when America was great, <laughs> it seems like people were doing uh, just as bad as they are now. I think I see where you're going. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it, it couldn't have been that great. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Even with your wife stuck in the house doing your dishes all the time and unable to have her own money, you, they were still killing themselves. So they obviously weren't happy. I mean, you know, like, people kept asking, like, like that's the one thing, like, they that I see, like, a lot of people asking, like, Trump supporters. It was like, when was America great? You know? It doesn't matter. It's just a rally cry. Wait, that was the hard stage? Oh, I guess I'm at the end. Hey! Man. It's a <laughs> Every time. <laughs> hey, what do you think about aliens? No, just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, just kidding. Hey, I what think do they you... should all die. What but... do you think about dentures? Dentures? <laughs> 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 I'm <If> glad... <laughs> Yes. I was like, if you had dentures, would you just go around scaring people going rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Just like this guy on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like if you had teeth for your teeth where like even your eyes are teeth. <laughs> you know You know what bugs me? What? I just uh I just finished watching uh the alien movie 
Alien, and then the sequel, Aliens. Yeah. And I know about the famous scene. I know about the famous scene with uh, where whatever the heroine is uh, backed up against the wall, and the alien like opens its mouth and then opens a tiny mouth inside. Right. Yeah, and chomps, chomps, chomps. I didn't see it. You didn't see it? No. I guess it's in like a third movie or something. Oh, I, I was thinking maybe it's one of those things where like it was in the trailer, but not in the oh, movie. Oh, Mandela effect. It, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. But I mean, like sometimes they would just put like extra scenes that didn't even make it into the movie, into the trailer. I'm looking at you, Rogue One. <laughs> well, There's a really cool scene in the Rogue One trailer yeah. that did not, uh, not get into the, uh, didn't make it into the movie. Really? Oh, so cool. Was it? Because I, I, I mean, I did see that movie. <laughs> hey, that was one of those movies you watched, huh? Right. Uh, very rarely do I ever see a movie, but like usually, like Star Wars is a good. <laughs> that's usually Star Wars uh, is a good time. Yeah, you, yeah, you can usually see my RSVP <laughs> when <laughs> when Star Wars pops up. I'm like, okay, I'll go see that. But I don't know. I haven't watched a movie in a long time. So if Star Wars came out with something recently, I probably didn't see it. No, 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 Rogue. <laughs> Rogue One was the uh, it's quite a while ago now. Yeah, for sure. Like probably like a decade ago. Not long oh no! <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Too, it was like ten years ago. No, it wasn't ten years ago. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> it has to have been though. I feel like it was. <laughs> well, facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> oh, isn't that Ben Shapiro? <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch Ben Sapiro. <laughs> oh, no. Crap. Oh. I was doing so well until I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, sometimes, though, yes. speaking, speaking of, like, sexism and stuff like that, sometimes, yes. like, women use it to their advantage, though, too. Go on. Like, I believe it. What's a good, what's a good example? Like... I used to have a coworker, and um, her name was Shelly, and she worked in the deli. <laughs> her name's not important. Okay, her name's a little important. <laughs> her name's funny. <laughs> her name's funny when you know where she worked. But like Sam, Sam, did you serve the ham? <laughs> I don't. Sorry, I, don't, I did though. Oh my god, let me tell you, Easter hams. They're a lot heavier than you think. Like. You, I didn't they, know that. They come in boxes of like 12, and each one of those hams is like 20 pounds. 